Sandra, welcome to my channel. Uh, I thought it'd be great to make a little video here just to explain a little bit about what I do. Um, and I'm basically just sharing my journey to document my business journey um, for myself and to share with anybody else on a similar path. Um, so I have a studio here and I um, have two businesses that I run out of the studio. So my first one, as you can see from the name of the channel, is the Taffeta Fox. So at the Taffeta Fox, what I make is basically my main thing are these XL scrunchies. So they're pretty big. Um, but when you look like you slept in the front head, you have this much hair, you need a big scrunchie to tie it up. I also make um, key fobs, um, similar to these. So this kind of thing. And also hand knitted hats. So we have this kind of style. Uh, in fact, on this one, I hand dyed the wool as well. So pretty unique. Um, you're not going to get this anywhere else. And also these really chunky, super chunky ones. And on all of these, the faux fur pom poms are removable, as are the little leather tags for washing, which is kind of cool. Um, and other accessories as well. So I have a website for that. If you want to check it out, it's um, thetabtafox.co.uk. And my second business that you may see me working on a little bit as well, because I run the two kind of simultaneously. The Thistledown Bears, so I make memory bears. And um, so this is a, a little mini bear example of what I do. Um, I would make bears, other animals, foxes, lions, all sorts of animals. Um, this one is using a pattern by Funky Friends Factory. Um, Pauline makes amazing patterns, so check them out if you're looking to make yourself a teddy bear. Um, mostly I just make these locally. Um, I haven't really branched out past making them local because I have a kind of fear that something so precious will go missing in the post and it's, it's not something that you can just easily replace. Um, so they are usually made out of um, a lost loved one's precious clothing. Um, I'd say about 98% of my business is in the memory of a lost loved one um, or a special outfit or a baby's first outfit, sort of thing that you put keep and put away in a drawer and you never get it out and look at it so why not have it made into something that you can treasure and look at and even give a cuddle, um, which helps. Um, in this room I also run two knitting social groups which keep me busy and also my husband runs a tabletop gaming group out of this room as well which I take part in so very busy here all the time. This room technically though is my sanity. Um, so that's a little bit about me and what I do here um, and what you're likely going to see. So thanks for joining me on my journey and I'll see you in the next one. Now have this large tub full of scrunchy tubes which need to be turned right side out through the small hole that I've left and I'm going to pile them up on the desk here ready for turning. for a memory order. This one is for two dogs and I have to make all the pattern markings transferred onto some interfacing and I iron the interfacing onto the inside of the clothing that I'm provided to stop the fabric from distorting while I work with it or for any knitted items unraveling etc. I'm now going to cut these out quite roughly because they're on one giant sheet which makes it quite difficult to work with. So I'll cut them out individually. Just 
to know about the scissors I'm using here. I love these scissors. These are my fabric scissors, so don't use them for anything except putting out fabric or interfacing, which keeps them sharp. Bought them from Amazon, and if anybody's interested, they came in a pack of two. One slightly larger than the other. This is the smaller set, and I will leave a link in the description down below if you're in the market for some new fabric scissors. Now I'm cutting them out more carefully. I'm only leaving a tiny border of interfacing left around my drawn piece. Uh, it just makes it slightly easier once I'm cutting out the fabric version to get them more precise, ready for sewing. Mm -hmm. 